The movie begins in ancient China, where the dutiful monk, Abbot Fa Hai, and his assistant Nang Ren travel through a mystical portal. As they enter a snowy region, they encounter a beautiful but menacing harpy showcasing her powers on an icy peak. Nang Ren tries to fight, but his impulsive action prompts the lady to imprison him on ice. She attempts to charm Fa Hai, but he orders her to stop bewitching men. A fierce battle ensues, with the enchantress using her polearm and agility to counter Fa Hai's attacks with his magical staff. After destroying the ice thrown at him, he absorbs the harpy's life force into a demon trapper, trapping her. Her capture helps Nang Ren thaw out from his icy prison. Fa Hai then instructs the young assistant to take the capsule to Lei Feng Pagoda. Upon reaching the tower's bottom level, he releases the ice harpy inside an enchanted portal that confines other demonic entities. On another day, two beautiful snake demons, Ching Ching and Susu, are happily fooling around with each other in the jungle on the other side of the mountain. While lying on the grass, they see a group of men, led by herbalist Xu Shen, collecting herbs that cure various ailments along the mountainside. As the travelers continue their ascent, the naughty Ching Ching Susu transforms into a snake to scare Shen, forcing him to fall into the water out of shock. This prompts Susu to assume a human form and jump into the lake to rescue the herbalist, kissing him to allow her to transfer some of her vital essences to resuscitate him. Shen opens his eyes briefly and sees her smiling before he drifts into slumber. Later, he wakes up flustered as one of his friends performs CPR. He anxiously tells them about seeing a woman in the lake. Still, they dismiss his claim, believing he is slightly confused after almost drowning. Overlooking from a distance, Ching Ching curiously asks Susu why he rescued the herbalist. Still, she is too enchanted looking at Shen that she does not know what to say. Sometime later, Fa Hai and Nang Ren resume their travels when they come across a victim of a bat demon identified by a bite mark on his body. Realizing it is the day of the Lantern Festival, they hastily hunt down the creature to ensure it will not cause havoc during the festivities. They reach the lake, where Shen offers to transport them to the city in his boat. They exchange pleasantries, with the young man mentioning he is from Hangzhou. While the men discuss their goals in life while traversing the calm waters, Susu profoundly thinks about the kiss she shared with Shen, believing she must return to the mortal realm and find him again. Ching Ching and a few talking woodland creatures explain how her essence is now attached to Shen, creating a mystical connection between them. With this realization, she takes Ching Ching to the city, exploring the streets while the civilians celebrate the Lantern Festival. Among the crowd are Fa Hai and Neng Ren, who are searching for the demonic creature using a compass. They split up, with the assistant crossing paths with Ching Ching, in her human form, when he sees the compass behaving erratically. Though initially thinking he is hunting her, she leaves him alone upon realizing he is not a threat and goes to the water's edge to look for Shen. Finding his boat, she approaches him to meet with Susu, but Shen refuses to engage with her, claiming he is the wrong person. The persistent serpent woman pushes his vessel until it stops at the pavilion where Susu is waiting. He gets further trapped in the pavilion when Ching Ching destroys the path, preventing him from leaving. Susu tries to woo him, but he dismisses her, claiming to have fallen for the woman he encountered in the lake. To prove herself, she pushes him into the water and kisses him, making him believe she is the one he has fallen in love with. Elsewhere, Ching Ching reunites with Neng Ren and reveals the bat demon's location with her powerful eyesight as it bites a young girl inside a festival boat. The young assistant hastily jumps onto the vessel, triggering the bat ladies posing as river rowers. He manages to subdue them with his magical symbols but gets trapped by the bat demon king getting himself bitten in the neck. Fa Hai quickly arrives at the scene, chasing the flying demon along the waterway until he grabs his tail and gets taken to the mouth of a volcano, where he pummels the entity into the lava. A new day arrives as Fa Hai takes his assistant, afflicted by the bat demon's curse, to the temple to seek a cure from the other monks. Elsewhere, Shen is cleaning up in his riverside hut when Susu comes out of his room looking radiant after spending the night with him. Despite not knowing her true nature, the young herbalist is smitten remembering the advice to always keep someone you want to see again in your heart. The pair agree to live together for the rest of their lives. By late afternoon, the children in the temple visit Nang Ren, only to be horrified by his demonic-like transformation. Ashamed at his plight, he flees to a ruined house, where he is found by Ching Ching. She reveals her true self now that Nang Ren is a demon. To ease his worries, she helps him adapt to his new identity, teaching him to act like a bat demon, despite visibly retaining his human attributes. Meanwhile, Susu and Shen wed, with the herbalist promising to achieve his physician dream so they can earn more money. Days pass as Fa Hai visits the watery village and sees people mourning the death of a diseased individual. He asks Shen to take caution as the herbalist busies himself with providing medicine to ailing citizens succumbing to an illness caused by a demon. Returning home, he tries to create a remedy but becomes unsure of what ingredients will make it effective. 
Susu then secretly transfers her vital essence to the cooking pot while he looks away, knowing it will help. Elsewhere, Fahai and his disciples encounter the disease-spreading fox demons, who retreat to the bamboo forest and fight them with enchantments. The older monk, unswayed by their tempestuous cries, recites his mantra and traps them inside the demon capsule. Meanwhile, Susu weakens after transferring her essence, worrying about her rat friend, who believes she can die. Elsewhere, Shen happily shares Susu's remedy with the citizens, fueling Fahai's suspicions about her true nature. He gives the herbalist a spirit dagger, hoping it will be used at the right time. Later, he confronts Susu about being a demon while thanking her for the poison remedy, knowing it consumes her remaining years of mortality. Though Susu reasons her love for Shen is strong, he warns her their union will cause complications in the human world, threatening to kill her if he sees her again. At night, she happily shares a meal with Shen when she accidentally drinks sulfur wine, a treatment for snake bites, causing her to slowly destroy her human form. She locks herself in the bedroom, knowing this will be her last moment with Shen. Suddenly, Fa Hai and his disciples appear, compelling her to attack. The herbalist enters the room and panics, stabbing Susu in her snake form with the spirit dagger, forcing her to retreat underwater. He becomes forlorn when Fa Hai reveals the truth. Elsewhere, a defeated Susu meets Ching Ching inside a waterfall cave as she succumbs to her injuries. Despite her setback, she tells her friend she does not regret falling in love with a human. Meanwhile, Shen sits inside his hut, still shocked by the events. The talking rat appears, advising the herbalist to travel to Lei Feng Pagoda, where the monks keep an indestructible spirit root that can bring the dead back to life and cure any disease. With renewed hope to save his beloved, he arrives at the temple and climbs the tower using the long vines to reach the upper level. As he creeps on the floor where the magical portal is located, he approaches the root, only to get entangled by its protective spell. Shen manages to break free and grab the root, unaware of its true purpose of sealing the portal. As he climbs the tower to escape, the demons leave the enchanted portal and scatter around the building, prompting Fa Hai and the monks to rush over. Upon arriving, they see Shen possessed by the entities, so they capture and take him to the temple for an exorcism. The demons resist their incantations, so Fa Hai instructs the disciples to gather the elders for the Lahan banishment spell. Elsewhere, the talking rat goes to Ching Ching and Sisu, giving them the route while telling them about Shen's capture. Later around sunset, the entire pagoda is sealed off from outsiders as Fa Hai and the monks gather inside the temple to recite the mighty spell, which cannot be interrupted. He leaves temporarily to ward off Ching Ching and Sisu, who arrive to save Shen. He tells the women that the herbalist demonic possession is the consequence of taking the spirit root without knowing its effects, reiterating that humans and demons should never consummate. Despite warning them not to disrupt the spell, the ladies defiantly attack, believing he is just preventing Sisu from being with Shen. A fierce swordfight ensues as Fa Hai tries to defend himself with his magical staff. Though they dodge his attacks by transforming into mist, the older monk successfully disarms them by breaking their swords. Furious, Sisu and Ching Ching whip a massive water spout to flood Jinshan Mountain Province with a tidal wave. Despite the insurmountable obstacle, the older monk cuts the wave in two to prevent further devastation, only to be attacked by the women, who transform into gigantic snakes. As Fa Hai tries to avoid their lunges, his disciples hurriedly evacuate the temple grounds. The flood waters encroach, sending a blast of water inside the temple where Shen is being exorcised. Fortunately, the monks continue the spellcasting, despite getting wholly submerged. While Sisu breaks down the door, the rats swim and bite the monks to break their concentration. With their combined efforts, Shen is released from the incantation and brought by Sisu to the surface. However, the young herbalist forgets everything about her, a visible consequence of her interruption of the spell. Despite hearing Fa Hai's reasons, she blames him for Shen's amnesia and battles him in the water. Standing on top of Ching Ching, she sends the monk a wave of snakes that lunge at him, but Fa Hai deflects them. Ching Ching then swallows him whole, only to regurgitate him when she is attacked. While the battle rages, the fully transformed Nang Rang flies the displaced monks to dry land. He sees Ching Ching afloat and rescues her, making her realize he is a true friend despite his monstrous appearance. Meanwhile, a weakened Fa Hai looks to the heavens, questioning if he was too devoted to his quest to hunt demons under Buddha's guidance. He realizes that his efforts may have ended in vain, believing disasters would still happen. Empowered by Buddha through a shining light, he meditates while deflecting a powerful whirlpool sent by Sisu. He then summons divine arms around him that block Susu's water whips and prevents the sea from crashing onto him. As he continues his prayer, the Lei Feng Pagoda deconstructs to trap Sisu inside. Realizing her mistakes, the repentant snake woman calls Buddha to grant her wish to see Shen one last time. 
This prompts Fa Hai to lift the temple with divine strength and set Sisu free temporarily. She leaves a heartfelt goodbye to Shen, kissing him to restart his memory of her. With a wish fulfilled and her promise that her love will persevere, she gets sucked back inside the pagoda, much to the couple's despair. After witnessing their tragic love story end, Ching Ching confides to Neng Ren she never wants their kind of love before leaving. As everything returns to normal, the devoted Shen waits outside the pagoda prison, picking herbs while hoping to see her again one day. Elsewhere, Fa Hai walks down the mountainside, remaining friendly to the demon Neng Ren by throwing him an apple and saying his new appearance has grown on him. The movie ends as the sun sets, and they journey towards a new path as they did before. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this to help the channel out. Have a nice day.